Certainly felt like a great win. I'll tell you, we needed that after uh, our opening game four, four nights or so ago. Uh, uh, really proud of how the guys performed. We weren't great today. We weren't really pretty at times. Um, you know, the first half, we had a lot of great shooters miss a lot of wide open shots. But uh, the difference in this game in our first was when things didn't go, our, go well, we held our ground. We showed some grit. We showed some toughness. Uh, to keep battling. Uh, down at high point, we didn't show that, and in, in the game spiraled out of control. So um, I thought the first half, they shot the ball exceptionally well, made some tough shots on us. And uh, to stick in there, and I think Chris told me the last 340 of the game, they didn't score a field goal. Uh, so defense wins games, and uh, thank you. Um, so good win for us, I'll tell you. We really uh, re needed to play well, and, and it's great to get a W. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. Uh, you, were, you were saying he was going to have to carry the load. I guess mean, you were, probably weren't thinking 31 and 13. But... And, and truthfully, you know, he didn't really finish well tonight. He made free throws, but he missed a lot of shots inside he's capable of making. They were very physical with him, but, you know, the, the 31 points is impressive, but the 14 rebounds is even more impressive to me. And I think he altered some shots inside. He didn't really score a lot. Their post players didn't score a lot, I don't think. Now, they, their guards sometimes got to the lane on us, but uh, uh, Nate was really, really special. He's a competitive guy, great kid, works so hard in improving his game, and uh, I'm glad he's wearing a Tribe uniform. 35 minutes, too. I, I know you're not going to want to see that every night. But. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to have to play a lot of minutes. I mean, we're, we're, it's well documented. We're a little shallow inside right now, and uh, uh, we've got to find ways to rest him. I'd like to would rest him a little bit more tonight, but frankly, not a whole lot more. You know, uh, we've got to try to use our um, substitutions around the media timeouts and things like that to get him some breathers. But uh, uh, he's obviously essential for us, and uh, really a tough young man out there tonight. I mean, the free throws. You know, Nate wasn't a very good free throw shooter last year, and uh, this year he set what he make 18 out of 22. You know, it was really great to see him on the line late in the ball game. Well, it, it was a firm message, I'll be honest with you. Uh, uh, but, you know, it, my message is not as important as how they reacted to it. And we had three really good days of practice. A little frightening that first half to see us come out struggling a little bit, just not very fluid with things. But, uh, again, the will to win was evident today. Our toughness showed. First, first game, we had no toughness. And, and tonight, we displayed some toughness, which we have to have. We're not a very big, ba very big basketball team, so we have to have to have that on a, a nightly basis. Uh, you know, I think uh, to out-rebound them by 11, that's not something that would have happened in the past for us. I see it. No, that's free throws. I'm sorry. No, we out, got out-rebounded by three. But, uh, you know, I thought we got a lot of 50-50 balls down the stretch. I really did. Matt, uh, Matt played very well in the second half. Yeah. Shots. Yeah, big breakout from Matt. I mean, I thought our three sophomores were really good. I mean, Matt Milan was terrific the second half. Breakout performance. We know how good Matt can be. And, uh, you know, when you, when you are transferring, sit out basically a year and a half, you know, without playing a collegiate game, it takes time. And uh, he's so ready to go, wants to be so good now. But that was a huge second half for him. Um, you know, I think we get Matt and Connor didn't have a great night. We get th both those guys firing on all cylinders. That will really help us. Justin Pierce. Really impressed with how he played the second. He, great start to the game, and then very immature act on his part that's got to change. Um, but I was really impressed with how he played the last 20 minutes. You sit down that long, and uh, he came back. And I, I don't even know what his numbers were, but uh, I thought his um, performance was really good. Where is Justin? There he is, 13 and 9, three assists, one turnover. It's pretty, pretty great night for a young guy. Um, so really good things, really good things. Really proud of him. Obviously, some adversity with you know, Pierce going out early after carrying the load the first you know, seven minutes or so. Yeah. Uh, lots of you know, back and forth, you know, times that could have gotten away where they took a lead by six or seven. Yeah. What can you say about this team's resiliency? I, I thought it was crucial. You know, it's something we didn't have four nights ago, and we 
had some of that on display tonight. But uh, you're right. I mean, the, putting Justin on the bench, uh, you know, they made great shots, tough shots the first half. We couldn't buy a shot. And just to keep battling, keep battling, and show some persistence was is really important for this team. It's important every year, but it's really important for this team. So many new faces out there. You know, we really have only one player that's playing the same role he played last year, and that's David Cohn. And, and truthfully, David's not playing the same role. He's got to be more offensive-minded for us. So we got a lot of new things out there, and uh, you know, we're going to have some up and down periods. But you know, I'm excited about where we could end up one day. Would you like to see Cohn be more offensive-minded? I would. I would. And you know, I thought last year David can score the ball. Uh, you know, his drive and finish tonight, I think, put us up you know, the final time, and. Uh, uh, I thought last year David deferred too much to others. Now, pretty good players, you know, on the wings there. But, uh, you know, we got to have a little more offensively out of him. And uh, he knows that. And I think he's been giving it in practice. And, you know, I think he had 10 tonight, didn't he? Uh, yeah, 10 points, three assists, two steals, two big steals for us. So uh, David's, David's toughness was really important tonight. I thought he led us well tonight. Thanks, guys. Thank you.